your girl Nunu the hair diva and I'm back with you with my first what's on your nails video for 2017 I want to say thank you to everyone who has left comments with their input on the videos that they wanted to see so I am doing the request and this is going to be the first look that I am doing. I decided to come out with a Valentine's Day look and this is what my nail art looks like. I will be doing more videos showing you just basic nail art being as though this is my first video for the year. I have to decide the best way to show you each and every video. But for this one, I'm just going to explain everything that I use to get this look that you see before you. So the first thing that I did was I used a Grab It base coat. Looks like this. And this you can get from Sally's Beauty Supply. It's about $2.99. It's just a basic base coat, but it has a little bit of a green tinge. It doesn't show on the nail, but it does help keep your nails from yellowing. The next item that I use is nail polish. I use Sally Henson, number 420 Back to Fuchsia. 420 back to fuchsia here is a good nail swatch and what it looks like and the next color that I use is from Pacifica this is a cruelty free and vegan polish this one is called red red wine and here is a nail swatch beautiful and you can get these from Ulta Beauty Supply. The Sally Henson, you can get pretty much at any local uh, drug store or beauty supply. After applying those polishes to my nails in different variations, I use the Pacifica Red Red Wine for the ring finger. And I did a little bit of a French tip. And then I use the 420 Back to Fuchsia on the middle finger and pointer. And I did a little bit of a pattern using both polishes on the thumbs. Now what I have done was I decided to use some appliques to put on my nails. So what I did for the pinky nail, which is the glitter, and the middle finger I am using this rock glitter and I got this from Walmart it doesn't have a specific name but this is what the glitter looks like very pretty with this you have to be careful because it is very loose and it can fall anywhere so I use pretty much like a paper plate and this scooper to scoop up what I needed and to apply it to my nail. To adhere it to your nails, you want to use a top coat. So I use my out the door uh, top coat here. This is very much fast drying. I applied one thin coat to my nails and then I use what you see here is the rocks. I'm trying to be careful to not drop it. I used the rocks and I just laid the nail over and scooped out what I needed over the top of my nail. I let it dry. And then I applied two coats of the out the door top coat. And that is the end result. For the nails that have the appliques, I just picked out some heart shapes and just adhered it with my Omega Labs brush on nail glue. You can get this also at Sally's Beauty Supply, but you can use any glue 
for your nails. And I just adhered the appliques to the nail. I left my middle finger and my pointer finger plain just so that I can enjoy that beautiful fuchsia color. For the pointer and the pinky, I decided to put on some gold foil. To adhere this, I just used the out the door top coat and the foil that you can see here. I used pretty much my crystal katina. And with that, I just picked up the foil and laid it on the finger. And then I went over it with two coats of the out the door top coat. For my thumbs, what I decided to do was use both the red red wine and the back to fuchsia and I gave myself a little bit of marbling on my nails. Then I used this Kiss Brush On Nail Art in white and I wrote I love you on one thumb and on the other thumb I just did some little dots and as you can see there is nothing there that is perfection with the dots on the right hand I decided to add two little appliques and roses one is clear rhinestones and the other is red this is my nail look now I'm a little bit nervous doing this I'm not sure how long the video is but it is basic nail art that you can do at home nothing has to be perfect as you can see my lettering is not all the way perfect but that's what makes it custom nail art for me anyone can do this and I just want to say I appreciate you all for sticking with me to the end of this video. I will do my best to show you how I do my nails. Just keep in mind those videos may be a, a little longer than this one was. I will say to all be blessed. Wear your makeup. Save your money. Try out some nail art. And Nunu will see you in a few days with the next video. Bye.